Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at the Brex BRX Do More PLC Ethernet Remote I.O. Controller BX-DMIO Hardware. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other, other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So here I have my uh, uh, BX-DMIO-M, which is our AC version of the remote I.O. unit made for the Do More series of controllers. So if we look at open it up, and the AC version, by the way, is anything from 120 volt or 120 to 240 volt AC. So this is actually a Ethernet uh, I.O. module that has a dedicated protocol just for the BRICS series of controllers. So if I open up this side of my box, I have my uh, quick select guide, my product insert, and it gives me a, a basic uh, rundown of all the different components. It also gives me a barcode scan here. I can scan to get additional information. On the back gives me my dimensions and my features of this controller. So we'll just put that aside and we'll actually look at our controller itself. And what we have is a, um, we have our ethernet port located right here. So that's our RJ45, which will be connecting back to our system. Then we have a place for a uh, prom however this is not functional in this unit so there's no thing nothing in behind there so we can just put that back in then we have our um, supply voltage here so again it's on a connector switch and we have a line in we have the neutral and we have a ground then we have a 300 milliamp DC supply built into this unit that we could utilize. You'll also see that we have our power light, our OK light, and our air light give us some diagnostics that we need when we're uh, troubleshooting this uh, unit. So looking at the, so basically just a RJ45 jack, we go right into our controller. Now if we look at the top of this unit and undo this clip, we have our dip switch settings. Our dip switch settings are, are there so we can adjust for what unit number this is because we can add eight of these units to our do more uh, system. And each, each of these units, each of these eight units that we can add can have modules and these modules can be eight of those as well. So basically 64 different uh, cards we can add to this uh, remote I.O outside of what's already on the CPU unit itself. So again, that was just dip switch settings. We'll put that connector back. Then what we have is on the back, you can see here that again, just like all the others, we can actually DIN rail mount this unit. Or we can pull these tabs up and we can actually use those tabs in the back of the panel to actually fasten that to the panel. To the side here we have a connector and if we open that connector you can see that is our expansion for our different modules that we can have for this unit. So let's uh, take a look. We can take these, uh, an expansion here which is uh, the BX-08CD3R and that will actually clip onto the side of the unit and it snaps in. You'll see the tabs up here that we can pull on each side and that will then release the module. So that is my a discrete input output card. Then we can also add analog cards. There's an analog input point, eight points, analog output points, eight points. So I could have this in the field doing my uh, remote IO of my system. So here I have my uh, the X here and over here I have my uh, remote IO for my BX system and once again eight of these units can be added 
and it is proprietary for the Brix controller. And we can have eight of these different modules that we can configure for our network. So our network is very extremely versatile that we can use. Okay, if you, enjoy, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us, or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.